this module, you will learn how to enter costs for different types of resources. So I just received the contract from the container company, and I'm going to have access to two containers. So how would I account for that? All right, so you wouldn't put in here in that particular case container one and container two. You just don't need to. What you can do here is you have container, and then you could come over here and put in 200%. Now, in that contract, what was the cost for that? $20 a day. So in the standard rate, let's put in $20. And what it will do is it will charge appropriately for two containers. Because we have 200%, it'll multiply that, and it'll charge us $40 a day. I need it to say $20 per day, not hour. All right, so let's adjust that. And let's take out hour and put in D for day. And now it's $20 per day. Great. Once again, you can use M for minutes, D for day, and H for hours. And then you could put in annual as well if it's an annual rate, like for a salary and that kind of thing. There's some other things that can change. So, for instance, what if, let's say, the maid service, the cost for that changes over the life of the project? Let me show you how you would account for that. So, if I go into maid service, and come to the cost tab, right now, let's say that their standard rate is $40 a day. Now we have $40 a day. And let's say that they're gonna do a rate increase. So let's go ahead and put in the effective date of that rate increase, which is December 15th, 2016, and press Enter. Notice that it put this $40 in there because that's what was above. So let's go in here and let's change this to 50 slash day. There you go. Now one cool thing you can do here is let's say that they come to you and say we're going to do a 10% increase. You can put in 10% in there and it will take what's in the standard rate above and add 10% to it, which is kind of a neat little feature. It's pretty convenient. Now that we have this in here, let's go ahead and choose OK. And what's really neat with the, about this is you don't have to keep up with when they're going to charge you more. The software will let you know, hey, they're going to charge $50 after that December 16th versus the $40. Basically, as you receive your contracts in, what you'll want to do is go in and put the rates in here. So for the waste dumping fee, let's go ahead and put $150 in here. And that's just a one-time $150 fee. As you can see, it is pretty easy to go in and add standard cost, even overtime, and that kind of thing, as well as special circumstances that may occur. You can go in and add those for each individual resource. Resource costs are the costs associated with a particular resource. Resource costs can be defined for standard rates, overtime rates, and per use costs. Resource costs can be set or edited in the cost rate tables inside the resource information dialog box. Mm -hmm.